farmers in Ibufundi sub-county, Rwanda district are living in fear that they might be hit by famine due to prolonged drought that has greatly affected the area. This comes after when the area was hit by heavy rains in the month of May 2023 that left most of the gardens washed away and since then the dry season started up to date. This is the first of its kind for Rwanda district and Kigeza Tlaj to undergo a prolonged drought. <laughs> According to farmers, they say that this is the first of its kind for Rwanda to undergo a long drought, adding that they are in fear that they may be hit by famine since they were used to receiving rains at the beginning of August, but which is not the case this year. <laughs> They add that even the seedlings which they had planted, expecting that the rains would come, have all been dried up by the long spell. <laughs> When <laughs> Farmers also say that they don't know what could be the cause that has stopped the rains, adding that the government should come up with a program that can provide for them with seedlings. <laughs> Government <laughs> A Kampura Pro Simbaba's woman member of Parliament Rwanda District said that the issue of drought is not only in Rwanda, however, this is the first of its kind. She adds that the drought comes after when the area was hit by heavy rains, which caused a lot of challenges, adding that now it's the drought which may affect the farmers. A Kampura father says that as a leader, she will continue to educate farmers on better methods of farming depending on climate change. The issue of drought, I think, is not only here, but in Rwanda, it has it is so strong. It is so strong. I think we had never experienced this. And we have experienced this after experiencing the heavy rains. You know, we are at a time where things are not easy. When we experienced the heavy rains that brought a lot of challenges, and now we are experiencing that drought. That, that, that too much sunshine, that is what I had not seen this in Rwanda before. But uh, as a woman member of parliament, I continue to educate my women that we have to get another way of doing farming. 
And that's what government is emphasizing. And we can only teach these women. Because you see, for me, in, in my district, some of this knowledge they don't have. First of all, my women are very, very positive towards working. And the only thing we need to continue empowering them is educating them. If we have such a season of drought, how do we now manage and work through it so that it doesn't leave us in poverty, but rather we can still benefit from that too much sunshine? Chika Funda Ivrin, founder of Green Environment Protection, says it's sad that farmers of Rwanda district and Kigeza Tlaj are experiencing long drought. She attributes it to the problems of environmental degradation that includes swamps being reclaimed, deforestation, and plastic pollution, adding that this is an indication that people don't mind about the environment. People from Kigezi are experiencing you know, climate change. It's true, climate change is real, and the risks are being you know, experienced at the moment. For the past uh, three months, it's not rained in, uh, in Rwanda, I must admit. Probably, most probably in Pungu Parish. Um, one of the farmers that grows Irish, I did grow Irish in, uh, in May, and unfortunately it has, it has not rained since then. I believe that uh, we as people, you know, of Uganda and the world at large, we must be blamed for all this, you know, havoc that, that, that is really happening. All the swamps have been reclaimed, the trees have been cut, people really do not mind about you know, the environmental protection and conservation. Uh, there is a lot of plastic pollution, the soils have been degraded. So Chikafunda calls upon all the people to take part in protecting the environment, adding that the environmentalists should devise means on how to protect the environment. My advice to people is that uh, we really have to up up the game to ensure, you know, uh, the environmental initiatives, protection and conservation, you know, uh, adopted by everybody. Because minus that, then uh, I think we are yet to see a lot of, of havoc. I must admit, most people in the rural communities at the moment are experiencing drought because those that, you know, planted beans did not see any harvest. Those that planted Irish are really struggling. Those that dared, you know, do the agricultural practices uh, are really struggling to, to get the little to eat. So. I think the next month are going to be hell for, mo for most of the people and uh, the environmental activists and champions you know, have to come up and see how best we devise means to ensure everybody knows it's their responsibility to protect and conserve the environment. It's now four months since it last trained in Rwanda district. A story by John Anamara, Robert Nyamachi for Kigas TV.